Good morning. Good, good, good morning. Good morning. Extra joyous morning. Because it's a Friday. Amen. It is a Friday. It's a day of appreciation. It's a day of Thanksgiving. It's a day of celebration in the Bill family. We're grateful that Friday is part of our game night. Um, it's one of those, it's our game night. And game night is um, a day where we intentionally celebrate. And celebration, I always say it, I'll keep saying it until you get it and begin to do it, right? Remember those children, I spoke to some of them in the spirit, in the spirit. And I sense that you, you're not doing game night yet, mommy. Mommy, 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 mommy. Please, we need game night. Let me speak for the children. Game night is when in the Bill family we decide, sit down as a family and just celebrate. Maybe on doing some games or without game, but just having a family evening, right? Friday night evening. Um, let's pray. Father, thank you for the gift of a Friday. We're so grateful. Thank you for an amazing week. Thank you for reminding us on how important it is to receive your word, um, especially this word on provision, to just know that you are our provider, you are provision for us. Thank you, Father. Thank you for an amazing game night tonight. Thank you for an amazing time of celebration. In Jesus' name, amen. And amen. We're gonna look at our summary of the week. We started a week talking about provision and we said um it's very evident that many people in the word of god have received their word differently and the way they received it determined what the god we saw adam and eve after believing that they they were made in the likeness and the image of god when the devil came they slipped back and they missed their great provision we saw the the man that leaned on the hand of the king in second kings chapter 6 i believe 6 or 7 he got himself in trouble for saying that it was not possible thereby trying to limit daddy to a certain way of provision today we can go a little bit further to talk about mary the mother of jesus um all right let's stay with the manner first um they received manner but their attitude after reception was bad you have to watch out um how you respond to that is saying he's providing number one and when the provision come what are you going to do are you going to respond with a bad attitude you don't want to do that the next thing is um mary the mother of jesus when she received the information that she was going to be the mother of jesus she never quarreled she didn't fight with anybody she didn't even negotiate she didn't go back and say let me ask my fiance guess what some provisions will require you stepping out of the normal to receive. Listen, you don't have to be tied down by tradition and man's way of doing things. If not, some divine provisions, especially opportunities, will pass you by. That was a word for somebody directly. Please stay out of your mind and let the word of God have its effect, complete total effect in your life. So your destiny can be that which daddy has already designed for you in jesus name amen on tuesday we went forward to having a prophetic word what a word that was a now word i pray you took your instructions and you're running with them amen when daddy give a now word it means that he is serious we want to get to that place where we never take the word for granted. We never say, oh, especially in the Bill family, you always hear the now word. You can get familiar with it. Please refuse to be. Because he changes our season through the word. Amen? He changes our season through the word. And then we went on Thursday, Wednesday, sorry, to see, looking at that man at the gate, that you cannot tell daddy. You can't even... Say he would not provide like this. He will provide like that. You can't say, oh, he won't provide through this channel. Or you can't tell him, provide through this channel and not through this channel. Because he's God, you know. He definitely, being God, is not saying he would do mean things. But him being God means he would choose the channel. And it would be a good channel. Amen. Trust him that the channel he will provide for you, the channel he will choose to provide or bring your supply, will be a good channel glory to god don't let any other 
mindset get in the way choose to believe that whatever channel he wants to provide for you that channel is the best and go to rest glory to god um yesterday we saw that appreciation is the best plate is the best vehicle is the best attitude to receive your provision from the Lord. It's amazing how we can get so familiar with provision to the point that we don't sit to say thank you. As simple as the provision of a new day is, some people just get up and they're like, I'm gone. No. That's why we thank him every time, every morning. We start our devotion by saying thank you because it's privilege. It is a privilege to be alive. Let's start with the basic, the supply of oxygen in your lungs. It's a privilege. So do not get too familiar to the point where you get up in the morning and you just go. What about all the other provisions? Breath in your lungs, children, husband, a job, whatever it is, remember to always say thank you. Amen? First Samuel chapter 5. Yeah, we study on Fridays. Of course, milk the word. Friday, this Friday, we're studying the book of First Samuel chapter 5. Remember, Anna never stopped going to church because she was provoked. My father, Papa Yedipo, says, the mockers will have to mock you first. Then you're lifting your promotion. Let the mockers do their job do your job amen have an amazing weekend remember to pray for your pastor remember to stand in the gap and decree and declare the things you want to see in the service on sunday and there will be because there's power when you pray you generate power in prayer and this power is dynamite it's able to change and shift things around in jesus name amen and amen, amen.